everyone, my name is Hauser and I'm a fourth year material scientist studying at Emmanuel College, Cambridge. Um, hopefully, by the end of this video, I am able to give insight to what it's like living in Cambridge as a student. So, what is material science? So, material science is one of the modules you get to choose if you study natural science, uh, where you study how the properties of the material relates to the processing of the material and also its microstructure and also discovery of other materials that might be used in engineering applications. So you learn things like designing an LED or making a new turbine blade for a jet. So how did you pick your college? Um, when I was thinking about picking my college, I thought about three things. I was thinking about the location of the college, I was thinking about what the vibe of the college was like, and I was also thinking about what facilities the college had. So, Emmanuel College is very central, it's very good, it's close to most of the departments, it's quite next to quite a bit of the uh, shopping areas. Um, in terms of vibe, it marketed itself as a friendly college, and in terms of facilities, it has free laundry, but it wasn't very good with cooking facilities. And most people don't have an oven for their undergraduate life. I felt that the vibe of the college was most important to me. Um, I want to live somewhere where I knew most of the people, where everyone was really friendly, and so I chose Ivano. Um, so I encourage people who are choosing colleges to look at what they really want out of college, whether it's education, whether it's facilities, or the general vibe. So what are supervisions and what are the advantages of having? Um, so supervisions are the things I like most about English. Um, essentially for an hour or an hour and a half, it an academic or a PhD student with three students and we just discuss about what we've learned for the past week. So I found it really helpful because the biggest advantage you have is you ensure that your questions are always answered in the super Um This is quite difficult to do at other universities. Uh, normally there are maybe 10-20 people in a single class and obviously in those scenarios with one lecturer to 10-20 people um, it's quite difficult to answer every person's questions specifically. Uh, but in Cambridge, when you have this supervision system, it's, it's you and two other students. So a lot of the supervisor's focus is on you, and so you get your uh, questions answered very well. What's the work-life balance like in Cambridge? Um, I'd say that the work-life balance in Cambridge is more work heavy than other things. Um, that's to be expected. Um, they have shorter terms than most other universities, so for the same amount of content, you have to learn it faster. Um, but it's definitely possible to have a good work-life balance. Um, so I myself joined quite a few other societies. I've joined the Malaysian Society, the University Concert Band, the College Student Union, and um, overall, I felt like I spent quite a good amount of time doing things I actually wanted to do and not just study. Um, Obviously, it's a little difficult. You will need to juggle your time quite a bit, and then you need to learn how to start saying no to things you don't feel like it's a good use of your time. But all in all, it's definitely possible to have a good work life balance with, people, with a bit of time. For them. And so, the final question I have is how easy it is to fit in at Oxbridge? Um, for me, fitting in at Oxbridge didn't have any extra barriers on top of that that you would normally have as an international student. Um, so naturally, coming from a Malaysian background to a UK university, there will be a bit of a culture shock. The food is different, the people, to, the things that people talk about are different, the political background, the in-jokes that, that we Malaysians might share, the things we enjoy will all be slightly different. Um, so there will always be a bit of a barrier to start with. But eventually, I got quite comfortable with my friends and I didn't feel like there were any extra barriers that I could use. Um, there's a bit of a myth that Cambridge is full of rich and snobby people and quite hard to fit in the upper class. Um, but to be honest, most people that I've found uh, that I've met here are quite friendly and welcoming. And I didn't find it extra hard to fit in the box rich than I think I would have had at any other university. Hopefully I've been able to give you a flavour of what it's like living in Cambridge. Um, I wish everyone applying the best of luck in their applications. And we'll see you in the next academic year. Bye!